Hey y'all, Southern Gaming Dude back here once again with some more of that Darkest Dungeon. Today we're going to be doing a short runes run. We're going to try a, we're going to try the uh, Shield Breaker here in the third row, and we're going to be using these abilities. We got uh, two abilities to move forward, and we got one so we can move back. And when we do move forward one space, this guy will still be able to do, you know, his attacks and stuff being back here. And then uh, after she moves forward, we can easily move back. Or we can just sit back and use this and just nuke the, the middle rows there. So we'll see how that goes. And of course we got Mad Arms in the front and we got Vestal in the back here. And I meant to have that equipped. There we go. Alright. Oh, apparently this Aegis Scale thing from our last run um, can be put into our inventory. I don't know what it does. Um, we'll put it in here. I, we'll see if we can figure out uh, what it does. Let's see, we don't need four shovels. Uh, we'll take three. Let's see here. Take some medicinal herbs, a couple holy waters. This time we will be taking some blood. I'm not going to make the same mistake I made last time. Uh, let's take, um, hmm. It, we'll take a couple of these just in case we run to the new enemies again because they're, um, they're pretty deadly and annoying. At least it was the first time. They was mostly just extremely annoying, I guess, more than deadly. Like, that that uh, horror thing they put on my um, shield breaker was insane. I think it was doing, like, 23 stress a turn. So, yeah. I'm not sure if they just show up in the, uh, the ambushes when you're camping or what. But, um, yeah. We're going to take some of that, st you know, some of this, uh, whatever, however the hell you say that. Just in case uh, we run into him again. I wasn't paying attention. I was fiddle, I had my eyes down here where my mouse was. Anyways, I'm on full alert now. I'm ready to kick some ass. Let's see what we got in here. Got some deeds. That's pretty nice. Just gonna pop a torch. I can't. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Let's see, let's uh let's get some retribution up in this bitch. Alright, there we go. Alright. Oh nice. Free stress seal. Okay, so let's see. What do I want to do here? I think we want to pull one of these archers up to the front. Get fucked. Woo! Alright. Love this character. This hero is class. Whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call her a hero. Because in the game files, um, while I'm messing around making thumbnails, I, that's where I get my images for my thumbnails for the character models. And they're in the heroes folder. So yeah, I'm going to call her a hero. Alright. Eight damage. Damn. Yeah, hit that, hit that guy with repulse on. Yeah, get fucked. All right, let's see how this, uh, what's this blight chance? All right. Oh, oh, right, we're using this trinket as well, so we're pretty much going to be guaranteed to blight these guys. I'm going to use on this. Oh, my God. All right, fuck the blight. He's just dead, you know? That's, that's fine. Let's heal this guy up a little bit. I still don't know what the hell this does, but um, hopefully we'll figure it out. Maybe it's, maybe I can use it, like, in the battle. I don't know, though. I don't want to waste it, but I really want to know what it does. Hmm. Maybe I'll try using it a little bit. Eh, we got some money. Emerald. Eh, alright. Crappy trinket. It's not too bad, I guess. Anyways, let's head on back. Stupid map zoomed out on me. It's kind of annoying. But yeah, I really like having, um, her with the, uh, Crimson Cursed for that uh, bonus damage and speed. I mean, look at her speed. Like, I know she has plus three speed from that, but even if she didn't, she would have plus 12 speed. Like, that's absurd. All right, I brought medicinal herbs. Let's we'll go ahead and use that. And very nice, got some cash money there. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't stop me for your prattling. I don't care. All right, there's some more. More gold, not that much, but hey, I'll take it. I love money. Who doesn't love money? Was there a trap there showing there, or was I just not paying attention again? It's possible I may not have been paying attention again. Probably should have brought some more keys. Oh well. I'm not really hurting for money on this uh on this file, so it's whatever. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Can we get some fights up in this dungeon? Damn, game. Uh, there we go. There we go. There's the fights. There's two of them. All right. Damn. Who's leaving all these backpacks that have been looted? Like, 
Good lord. Alright, we got some of these assholes. Um, how do I want to deal with this? Hmm. Oh, I forgot to move the Hound Master back. That's okay. We're just going to hit this guy. Oh, well, we're going to try to hit that guy and get dodged. But yeah, we are going to kill this guy first because I hate him. You don't want to leave these guys alive. I'm sure you guys know by now that um, if you leave them alive, they'll uh, retreat eventually. And then, of course, you won't get the uh, the invitation, but also he'll fill the area up with those, um, what are these, sycophants? Yeah, the sycophant mosquito things. And, yeah, for every enemy not there, there's a sycophant that comes in. It's really annoying. So, yeah, we're going to get rid of him. And that guy almost committed suicide by attacking him. That's pretty nice. Unfortunately, he is getting a little stressed out. Really? You just stressed him? <laughs> oh my god. That's annoying. That's alright, though. We're gonna get through this just fine. Ah, let's see. How do I want to do this? Um, since I can reach all the way back here with this, he's about dead. We're just gonna finish him off. Um. Hmm. Okay, then. That just happened. That's kind of annoying. One damage bleeds, blah. I'm just gonna finish this guy off. All right. Hopefully we can kill this guy quickly. Should be able to fairly easily. I'm just gonna move forward and stab him. Oh yeah. I love that armor piercing thing that uh, Billy does. It's so good, ignoring that protection. You just murder enemies that normally don't die very fast due to the protection. It's pretty nice. Forgot to pop some torches. Got them just in time there. Alright, so they've normalized there. Let's see here. Let's go for... Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to stab this guy. Fuck it. Fuck him up. I was hoping to be able to kill him with retribution there. That's alright though. It's not a big deal at all. Get some retribution hits going here. Probably shouldn't be using retribution when he has this much stress, but what can I say? I'm reckless. Let's see if we can get some kills here. How much does that do? One damage. I have figures. Let's go ahead and heal him up a little bit just to be safe. I'm not too worried about him dying, but I don't like to take chances. Yep, you fucked up. Alright, so this guy's going to live barely. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's just go ahead and pick him there. There we go. Let's see, let's just use Judgment. Get a little bit of damage on him. Not much, but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and pop a biscuit. Why not? Dog treat, whatever. Is it called dog treats? Yeah, dog treats. I just call it biscuit usually, but whatever. We got a key here. Let's go ahead and get rid of the, the biscuit. I don't really care about the gold. Um, let's open that. Let's see what we got. Wealth beyond measure. Snake oil. I will take that and I will sell that. Let's get rid of the food. So that was a pretty good run. Not bad. She seems to be able to function pretty decent in the uh, like the third row here. I think I prefer in the front, but it's nice to be able to use uh, characters in different air, like rows and stuff. So... That was a fun little experiment. It's not bad. Let's see how much main heirlooms we got here. Eh, not too much. Eh, it's whatever. It was a pretty solid short run. Except for those two negative corks. That kind of sucks, but whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please uh, drop me a like and uh, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.